When I'm putting a lot of loose items on the trailer, I cover them with this mesh. I want to show you what this mesh is. I'll stretch it out. This is called a tow target, and it's left over from World War II. It's called a tow target because it's towed behind one airplane as another airplane is shooting at it. The guy towing the target around must have had some balls, huh? <laughs> now here, you see there's some holes that are red and some that are blue. Now here's some blue ones here. The bullets were dipped in different color paint. Now, I don't remember what my dad was telling me, whether or not it was from two different planes or from different guns on the other plane. But then they would look at the target and see which ones were on target. But can you imagine, you get up in the morning and your job today is to fly a target around while someone else is following you around shooting at it. Because to shoot at a moving target, you've got to lead it. You have to shoot ahead of it. So you'd probably be shooting at the plane. I don't know how far you'd have to lead it, but <laughs> be an interesting job, and I can't say it's one that I would want. <laughs> Frankie thinks it's a good place to drop a tennis ball, <laughs> and it looks to me like he's right on target. <laughs> Well, hey everyone, I know it's been a few weeks since I put out a video. People are writing and asking uh, if we're okay. <laughs> I really appreciate your concern. We're doing all right. It's just been very, very stressful the last few weeks as we try to empty out the homestead. It's stressful enough moving from one place to another. Well, we're moving stuff out and just trying to store it because I can't take it to New Hampshire and fill the cabin up when I have a lot of work to do there. So trying to downsize, it's been a major undertaking. I haven't had anything to share with you. But like I said, I got a lot of people wondering where, where we are. So I just wanted to throw out a quick video for you right now, kind of bring you up to speed Hopefully, real soon, I'll have something more enjoyable for you to watch. We got the homestead almost all cleaned out now. There's just a few things left. Just waiting on a closing, and we'll vacate entirely. I really got to get back to New Hampshire and get back to work on that cabin. Last time we were there, I got the gable wall, all the drywall all up. Got the other interior partition all framed up carried up 15 sheets of drywall. They're upstairs ready to rock and roll. And I'm just waiting on this transaction to finish up. Yeah, so aside from all the stress and the BS, things are pretty good. <laughs> I'm thankful for the red wine. With all the turmoil, it's been some much needed liquid therapy. Huh. Yeah. So, but like I said, the homestead's ready to vacate now. I've been taking care of a few things that I always intended to do, never got around to it. Like for example, up in the attic, up in the original part, there was still a bunch of junk up there that was there when I bought the place. I had cleaned out most of it, but then ended up putting stuff in front of it and it got forgotten about, out of sight, out of mind. So I'm not going to leave that stuff for the new buyer to contend with, so I've been up there sweeping out and cleaning out, and it's just who I am. I don't know how so we accumulate so much stuff over the years, but I am downsizing and getting rid of stuff, and I'm not going to have room for it, so I will not hoard all this crap anymore. When I built this house, I said I was not going to have a junk drawer in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All kinds of must-haves in here. You have a catch-all, it catches everything. I'm putting this on record 
I will not have a junk drawer in the cabin. There it goes raining again. <laughs> now isn't it funny how as human beings we all tend to follow the same patterns. We all want more money and when we have more money we buy more things. But rarely does it ever make us any happier. Whenever you hear somebody trying to improve their life, what are they doing? Downsizing and minimizing. We've all heard it. So here I am, downsizing and minimizing. I'm going back to living in a cabin in the woods where I don't have all kinds of space to put stuff. Seems the more outbuildings I build, the more stuff I have to put out in the buildings. <laughs> I'm done with it. But all in all, it's been a great homestead. I'm pretty sure that the new owners will enjoy it as much as we have. I pulled a few weeds from the garden today. They came out of the ground effortlessly. And as long as the new owners continue on with the same process of gardening, I'm certain they will have some wonderful success with the garden like we have. As long as you don't till all that top fodder in, just keep adding to it and nourishes the soil. It's been a very, very fertile garden. I got the chimneys all cleaned out, the stoves all cleaned out so they're ready for the buyer. Swept out the chicken coop, cleaned out the shed. Everything's ready to go. It's been a really nice place to live. Uh, we've enjoyed it here, but it's time to move on. So that's about it for now, folks. I just wanted to throw out a quick little update for you all. Lots of people have been concerned because we haven't been posting. But if everything goes as planned, within two weeks or so, it'll be cabin time, full time. Should have some really good content to share with you all. So that's it. All the best to you, and God bless. Frankie and the boss out of walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun, taking life a day at a time. Best friends until the end, Frankie and the boss, Frankie and the boss. Frankie and the Boss